Let me explain speculation for a moment. Speculation is a driving force behind competition. Everybody's out to get me. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I don't have anything to offer. And it's how we get our favorite preachers. Because we, before we ever come into the house of God, let me give you an example. Let's say you don't like me. You don't like to hear me preach. You don't like to hear me teach. You don't like to hear me in my southern talk. You don't like my Alabama knees. I'm truly southern. If my voice doesn't give it away, eating cornbread will. <laughs> Say you don't like me. And so before, before you ever come to the service, let's just say, for example, Summit can't announce, hey, Ryan's preaching this Sunday. Because if you get wind of who's preaching before you get here and you begin to speculate whether or not you'll like their word, you'll decide not to show up because you want to go somewhere else that you can be fed. That's the greatest lie in American Christianity. I've never seen a shepherd yet lead a sheep to a green pasture and a pure water, bend down, cup the water and put it up to the lamb's mouth or take the grass and put it in the mouth. All I saw a shepherd do was lead them to the grass and the water and the sheep did the rest of it. Could it be that the reason that you're not being fed is because you already speculated you're not going to receive anything? So you're already determining what sound you will adhere to because now you are the definition of the kingdom. 